What up, Reader Fam? It's book haul time! I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a book haul, and that's just because I really haven't been buying books recently. Because if we're being real here, I have been in a crazy reading slump lately. It's the worst, I hate it, and I wish that I could squash it. But even though I have been going through this severe reading slump, I have still picked up some books, so I'm gonna show you those books today. First up here, I have the first three books in the Bone Season series. First up, we have The Bone Season. Then we have the Mime Order. And then I have the newest book in the series, The Song Rising. These all just have such epic titles. This is a series that I am just really excited about right now. I know that I just talked about the fact that I am in a crazy reading slump, but I just recently finished The Bone Season. It just took me forever to finish it, but I really enjoyed it, and I'm super excited to carry on with this series. Also, The Bone Season is actually the book explosion book of the month, and this month we are working with Bloomsbury, so our live show will be taking place on April 1st, so if you want to check out this book and read it before the live show and then join us for the discussion, that would be epic! So let me tell you guys a little bit about this series. This story takes place in 2059 and it's kind of like a futuristic fantasy with some dystopian elements in it. We follow our main character Paige and she works in the criminal underworld of Sky on London. Paige is a dreamwalker which means she has the ability to kind of like enter into people's minds and kind of like dig around and find out information that they have. The thing is she must keep her life a secret because everything she's involved in is basically illegal. Then one day after an accident on the train happens while she's traveling to see her father She's attacked and captured and taken to the city that's been kept secret for 200 years. And this is where our dystopian element kind of comes into play. Paige is assigned a master and she must adhere to all his rules. So essentially throughout this story we follow Paige and her desperation to get her freedom back. It is a story with intense detail where it takes some time to kind of fully grasp everything that's going on. But when everything clicks you've got this massive concept that's executed fantastically. These are actually the new covers for the series and I know that it's always kind of difficult when a series goes through like a rebrand and they changed the covers, but I love these covers. They're so nice. At first when I saw them online, I was just like, okay, they're all right. But then I saw them in person and I like them so much more in person. So if you're kind of uneasy about these cover changes, I would say go check them out in person because they're much better in person and I really like them. And once this series is completed, these are going to look so nice on the shelf. Like just imagine the colorfulness. Like we've got blue, then we've got red, then we've got orange. What's going to be the next cover? What's it gonna be? I'm gonna go with yellow maybe? Maybe yellow? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm excited for the spines to be on my shelves and to be all lined up and to be beautiful. And like I said, this is going to be a seven book series, so you're definitely gonna want to jump on this book series and get going with it because it's gonna be a long series. And I'm already loving it and I've only read the first book, so I'm excited to carry on with the series and to see how it develops. The next book I have here is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab, which is the finale to the Shades of Magic trilogy. So I have the U.S. edition here, but you guys know me and my crazy obsession with V.E. Schwab books, so of course I had to pick up the UK edition as well. This is a trilogy that I'm still not caught up on, but I'm super pumped to get to this point and to finish this series. I've been seeing lots of reactions to the ending of this series, and it seems like a lot of people have left it wounded. Like, they all boarded the train to the land of feels, and they cannot seem to escape it. So I'm kind of nervous about the ending of this trilogy, but at the same time, I'm super excited for it. Then I picked up The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, which is one of my most anticipated releases of the year and I still have yet to read it but that's because the reading slump plague hit me super hard and it's eating me alive but I really want to get to this book soon because I know that it's going to be a super important read and I want to read it if you guys didn't know this book is actually inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement this story follows a girl by the name of Star and she actually witnesses one of her friends being shot by a police officer so we follow her journey with everything that comes with that event taking place in her life and lastly I have two books that I picked up on my trip to Texas when I went to the North Texas Teen Book Festival, which I actually have a vlog up from that event over on my second channel. So if you want to see that vlog, I will leave a link to it down below. And I actually didn't get these last two books from the festival. I got them at this little independent bookstore somewhere in Texas called The Last Word Bookstore. The first book I got there was The Red Notebook, and I actually already read this book. I read this while on my trip. And it kind of reminded me a lot of Attachments by Rainbow Rowell. It's kind of got a similar concept a little bit. The story takes place in France, and we follow this bookseller by the 
name of Laurent, and one day he is walking to work and he finds this purse on the side of the road. He picks up the purse and among all the items inside the purse is this little red notebook. He ends up being nosy and reading everything that's inside the notebook and it's basically this girl's journal. Like she just writes down everything about her life and Laurent kind of finds himself starting to fall for this girl, even though the only thing that he knows about her are the things that she's written in her journal. So he kind of ends up going on this mission to find her. I know it kind of sounds a little stalkerish and it low-key is a little stalkerish, but it was a fun little story and I enjoyed the France setting. And the last book that I picked up is this book called Libriomancer by Jim C. Hines. This story follows a guy by the name of Isaac who is a Libriomancer. And basically what a Libriomancer is is that they have the ability to reach inside of a book and grab an object and pull it out. Any object they want, they can just reach into a story and pull it out. And that description is basically what sold me on this book. I was just like, sign, seal, delivered, I am yours. So those are just some of the books that I have recently picked up. Like I said, I really haven't been reading a lot lately, and that's because I'm in this crazy, annoying reading slump. I don't know if it's necessarily a reading slump, or it's just the fact that it's just taking me forever to finish books, and it's driving me crazy. Like, I want to finish books faster, but it's just taking me forever to finish books. You guys should let me know down below in the comments a book that you've picked up recently. Also, just let me know a book that you've been loving recently. Share that book love with me. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to be notified for when I post new videos, be sure and go and click subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew.